Alrighty then, so I finally got my ZSA Voyager in. Let's take a look at what's in the box, shall we? Alrighty, ZSA IO, we care about your experience. A nice, oh, magnetically shut. Some extra brown switches and a good amount of keycaps. Some extra blanks. F and J, T and N, U and H with the notches on them for touch typing. Got some up, uh, some shift arrow keys, an alt, control, OS, command, and escape. All kinds of niceties in here to set up your keyboard the way you like, which is always nice. Got a C2A dongle, all the cables and everything necessary to get everything working. Got a short C, a medium C, a really, really long C, and uh, what's that? Yep, TSS cables. And of course, the keyboards themselves. And here, the feet. And a nice metal Voyager tag. Bon voyage, cure C approved. Let's see here. Yeah, there we go. Get that open. Uh, the right hand side looks very nice and of course the left hand side QC approved doing all this with one hand beautiful very very nice so these are going to go here for now. They're going to be set up right there for the time being while I'm taking my classes here coming up. Looks good. I'll get back to you as soon as I get everything set up. Alright, got them plugged in. I'm running a Mac OS setup right now. So once I connect this up, go lights come on everything looks pretty and ask me to allow so I allow and of course continue And we want NC. And boom, keyboard is set up. So now, actually, let me turn my mouse on. Let's go to Chrome. Uh, let's see here, go to the Oryx website. Refresh that. Possible. This is going to be my layout. So I will probably want to change that key. Everything else is effectively identical. So if I want to save this to my keyboard, I believe default is hold. 
second tab. That's what I want to do. Boom. Connect. Connect to the Voyager bootloader. So that is hold this one here and hit the minus button. Connect the bootloader and it'll flash my firmware for me right away. And with that, I'll be able to get to typing here. Once that flashing firmware is done, it is going relatively quickly. I like this. This is a nice setup. Success. Your board should have rebooted. It did. The color scheme has changed what I set it to. We are set. Nice. We'll go back to our layout. If we go to train, start training. Yep, that's the Voyager I want. It actually recommends press the sequence. So we going to press C, enter, two, boom. And with this, it'll actually have the board up on the screen for my training. And it'll teach me how to use the board. Uh, stay tuned to the channel if you're interested in how the Voyager works out for me in the long run. Have a beautiful day, folks.